you severely underestimate the amount of people who watch my videos horizontal from bed. <laughs> it's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, welcome to this installment of trying to eat a little bit healthier but still make you crave it so I can get some views. We're very transparent around these parts. <laughs> So yeah, today we're having some uh, throw together chicken bacon Caesar wraps. I say bacon because uh, I bought one of those kits, those $4, $4 salad kits at, at the store and uh, their little pack of bacon is a negligible excuse for bacon. So I mean, there's a few bits sprinkled in there, but it's pretty much predominantly chicken Caesar. So yeah, these are one of my favorite, just easy throw together, like, you know, pretty cheap meals. And it's just, you grab it from the store, bring it home, dress it up, throw it together. And it's relatively healthy. You know, it's not too, too bad for you. Still not the best, but definitely a healthier option that's craveable by many. Because as far as I know, most people love chicken Caesar. So got some sauces on the side and we're switching it up today with the drink because we're going on the healthier tip. Uh, before we do anything more, we must pour. And what we are pouring is this sparkling lime watermelon called aha or aha or hey however you want to pronounce it so lime watermelon should be interesting i've never had it i'll tell you this right up front uh, i don't love sparkling water like just not the biggest fan there's something that happens when you sparkle water it just creates such a strange flavor in it I, i've never really been able to get to the appreciation point unless it has vodka in it so <laughs> very telling but for real though there are a few flavored sparkling waters out on the market that are getting close to like making it so i can actually just drink it on the regular but uh, i've never had this one so we'll see see whatever sort of soda flavor technology they have going on in this one it's acceptable like it doesn't have that there's something about soda water i find that it has like this like a bitter bite to it at least in my palate and this one is like very drinkable so shout out to you aha and i do love watermelon and uh <clears throat> Not until a few years ago did I know that taking watermelon and hitting with some citrus, like lemon, it's crazy. I never thought to combine fruits, but uh, if you uh, feel so intrigued or inclined, take a piece of watermelon and squirt a little bit of lemon on it. It's so good. Up close and personal for you, uh, this tortilla I just pressed on my grill just to like close it off. But I will say I do like a soft side remaining. Uh, the dressing packet in the salad uh, kit was not enough for a guy like me. So we have our own extra. And I personally love a little bit of hot sauce on my chicken wrap. So we will show you once again in a diagonal form. And then we go. I'm excited for this. I'm really excited for this. I'm, I've been looking forward to this all day. Just one of those days. Mm, honestly. So good. So easy. So simple, so good. You heard that crunch? Yes, I did include the uh, the croutons in the mix. I personally can get down. Heavy hard body. With a nice crunchy element inside of a wrap or sandwiches. I also love 
when the routes are cut diagonal. That point, that tip, that diagonal bite, that first bite. So like, easy to deep throat it. Just something so enjoyable about a non fussy bite. Also, brought the chicken legs that I'm definitely going to go animalistic on here momentarily. I use the white meat in the uh, in the wraps. Certainly my preference when it comes to sandwiches, wraps. I always just like the white meat in there. Hitting the spot. Big time hitting the spot. Just want to give a shout out to anybody who's been showing love. Um, <clears throat> that song that I posted. Devil for my soul. Kind of been uh, repetitively relinking it in the comments and like in the community tab, and I hate to be like annoying or like that because I, I just you know it's an, it's annoying kind of in a sense, but in this day and age, as per my situation, like the only way I can make people aware, basically is through here. And so in doing that, over the course of a few days, like I've gotten some new comments. Very positive. About how much they enjoy it and how much it resonates with them. And uh, to me, that means so much. For music, you know, your art to be heard, your art to go appreciated. For me, like when I'm making my songs, I'm basically painting out my inner diary into the world in like a musical form for me that's like what music is just like me taking my inner diary my inner thoughts and emotions existential struggles things I'm going through actual life situations and basically trying to paint it over a beat and hope it connects with people. And I use it as a form of therapy. Basically, that's what music is for me, is just a, a form of therapy. So when it doesn't fall on deaf ears, gets heard and resonates that really makes me feel like 
very very good so just want to say that now I want to tell you guys a funny little story about being an influencer so I have a quite positive life change happening here in about a month's time And it's going to allow me um, a lot of <clears throat> different ways to make content. And uh, I've been wanting a standing desk. So it's this desk that like is normal but then electric electronically it can like go up different levels so you can stand at it and work at it or sit at it and work at it or put it like half height or whatever so i reached out to a few companies to see if they work with influencers to see if they would provide me the product and I'll make some sort of a video like using the desk but reviewing it in a sense but for me like I'm going to include cooking in it and I'll make it like interesting hot sauce is kicking in as per usual so I reached out to these two companies they both said yes to send me desks and these desks are not cheap so I'm very grateful for that that's amazing it just shows that uh, if you take some positive action and just ask for things in life it's it's possible that things will happen for you so you have to just go outside and ask for things and hope for the best and the worst that anybody could say is no so whatever so now I have these two desks and uh, I basically will have to do reviews on both of them somehow some way i'll figure it out i may just do the one i'm not sure i'm still figuring it out but that led in my mind to like okay well if i wrote, reach out to this company willing to part with that and do that what else could i ask for so i'm all on my like spirituality like law of attraction type vibe and uh i'm like i really want like a new mattress or like a new bed like a queen size and I was like, hey, let me reach out. There's all these mattress companies that work with. Like, I just searched, um, like, rev mattress review on YouTube. And there's so many, like, mattress and bed reviews on YouTube. With these companies that work with YouTubers or whatever, right? So I sent out, like, seven emails to seven different companies. It's, like, yesterday. And one got back to me already saying, hey, sorry, uh, we only work with people with 15,000 followers and 3% uh, engagement or retention. And I was like, hit them back. I was like, oh, do you only do Instagram? Because then I could understand it. But I was like, on YouTube, I have 55,500. And uh, I have 10 to 20% retention. And then they emailed back, probably saying what they wanted to say the first time, but didn't want to like hurt my feelings. But you can't really hurt my feelings because whatever doesn't matter, it just is what it is. They're like, oh, uh, yeah, well, mukbang doesn't really align with like our demographic and the people we're trying to reach.
and in my head, I was like, okay, fair enough. I understand kind of where you're coming from. But you severely underestimate the amount of people who watch my videos horizontal from bed. <laughs> Because I have to assume that ASMR and mukbangs predominantly, I feel like the people watching those are probably 80% of the time laying in a bed, laying on a mattress, being horizontal as shit. And you know what I mean? Like, so if they saw a funny video from me, like I was going to make a funny, like almost comedic video with the bed or whatever. Like I had some like clever ideas to make it not. So it's just like, oh, hey, here's a bed review by a bed. It would be like, I would work it into my channel in a way that it like makes sense because I'm clever like that. Uh, but, you know what I mean? I just, in my head, I was just thinking like, you know, these people could be watching from their bed and be like, as a matter of fact, my bed kind of sucks. Let me check out this, this, this bed this guy's pushing. <laughs> so, it was just a, I didn't respond to them. I just said, fair enough, understood, like all good. But in my head, I was like, you know what, uh, hey, like, Maybe there could be a market in mukbangs for your bet. Because I know for me personally, when I'm consuming ASMR mukbang content, I'm chilling. I am as horizontal as east-west, if that makes any sense. I'm in bed, keeping it low-key. I do love chicken skin. I don't love chicken skin when it's not perfectly fresh and crispy, though. There's a certain lifespan of chicken skin. And that has gone past it. Yeah, that was just a funny thought, but I didn't want to you know, bother them or keep wasting their time or try to change their mind or anything. Just accepted it for what it was and moved on. But I'm still hoping. I reached out, like I said, to like seven companies, so it was very possible that one will say yes, which would be sick. would be very dope all right well that's clear, clearly the end of that one because i cleaned the board finished the board great meal amazing meal love this meal uh good video hope you guys enjoyed that one till the next one what am i doing eat good live well stay true